to ask the First Minister whether he will provide an update on the steps that are being taken to reduce drug deaths in Scotland. First Minister. We remain absolutely committed to delivering the national mission to reduce drug deaths and improve lives of those that are affected by drugs. The latest drug death statistics that uh, reported a 21 per cent decrease in 2022. I do welcome uh, that reduction, which is the highest on record, but I'm also quite clear that these numbers, of course, remain far too high, and every life lost is an absolute tragedy. tragedy. My thoughts uh, are with the families that have been impacted and affected. That's why the national mission includes an additional £250 million investment over the course of this parliament to improve services and backs radical approaches that are evidence-based, and that phrase uh, is absolutely crucial. Uh, whether that be a proposal to establish a safer drugs consumption facility or arguing for drug law reform. The Minister for Drugs and Alcohol Policy uh, will make a statement later this month to update Parliament more fully. Thank you. Emma Harper. Thank the First Minister for that response. The Misuse of Drugs Act is over 50 years old. It is not fit for purpose and it must be reviewed urgently. And the, Home Office, the Home Affairs Committee recently published a report calling for a re review of drug classification and a new health-led approach to tackling drugs with a trial of safe, safe consumption rooms. So, Can the First Minister provide an update as to what engagement the Scottish Government has had with the UK Government regarding, regarding the urgent need to reform of the drug Conian Misuse of Drugs Act. First Minister. The points Emma Harper makes uh, are well made. And in July, the Scottish Government did publish a paper, as Emma Harper said, setting out our bold and ambitious proposals for drug law reform to ensure we treat problematic drug use as a health, not a criminal matter. And I was heartened that there was much support for it, not just domestically, but internationally and globally, uh, from experts and those who are working on the ground to tackle the issue of drugs misuse. Uh, this is uh, complemented uh, by the recent very welcome report, uh, as Emma Harper said, from the Home Affairs Select uh, Committee, which is clear for the need to reform the Misuse of Drugs Act. Uh, the Minister for Drugs and Alcohol Policy did meet with the UK Minister for Policing on Tuesday this week and did raise the issues with him. Uh, and what I would say is that if the UK Government won't take the necessary actions to use the powers that they have to help us to combat this challenge, this problem, this crisis, then at least devolve the powers to us so we can take a different approach here in Scotland.